Hi guys. So we are ready to start our yoga class. So follow me to the mat. And we are sitting comfortably. We are crossing our legs. Our spine is long. And we are slowing down our breaths. Eyes are closed. In from the nose. Down to the stomach. And out from the nose. Four more. One. Two. Three, and four, scan your body, find all the points that are pulling and aching, gather your thoughts with your hands, Push them under your mat. One more deep breath. And we're setting our intentions for today's class. This can be what we wish for the new week. If it's already Monday where you leave, or if it's about to start. One more deep breath. And we're slowly, slowly opening up our eyes. Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to go into table talk. And this time we're starting with our hands. So rotate your hands upward so that your forearms can stretch. And breathe. And slightly lower down your hips and bring them back up. Always breathe. In. And out. You got to neutral. And this time you're going to rotate inward your hands. And keep swinging back and forth with your hips. Two more deep breaths. One. And neutral. Your hands are in the regular position, but the top is going down and the palm of your hands is coming up. Your elbows are soft and you want to push up those elbows and shoulders. Always breathe. And 
and listen to the breaths coming in and out of your nose. One more. And then calm down, but you want to lift one up at a time. Move uh, slightly more away your knees and leave your feet as they are. Do not tuck them in and lift up into down dog and then bend the knees slowly down again to the mat. One deep breath. And up again. Look between your knees and breathe. And down again slowly. One more. Up. Gaze between your knees. And lower them down, eyes to the mat, and we're squeezing together our shoulder blades and pushing the mat away, together and away. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, elbows are soft, and up. And now we are arching up, 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 lower it down, cat, breathe in, and slowly breathe out and go to neutral. Arch your tail and your head up, cow, and breathe out, and do the opposite. Cat. And cow. Cat. And cow. Go to your own pace and see what's better for you. You want to sink in your breath and your back. And now it's going to be child's pose. Open your knees wide, forehead to the mat. Two deep breaths. One. And two. Hips come slightly up. Lift up your right arm, bend it, move it under the left arm, left arm up, and hug your kidneys and lower back. Look up and breathe. One. And 
in two, one more. Left arm extends up and then down beyond your head. Lift up, extend upward the right hand and go back to child's pose for two. One. And two. Lift up your hips, your chest. Left arm up. Bend the elbow. Go underneath the right arm. Extend the right arm. Hide your lower back. And breathe. One, two, and three. Extend the right arm up, right hand on the mat, lift up, extend the left arm and bring it down again one deep breath in child pose and then move to puppy pose chin to the mat and breathe and walk back your hands Child's pose, hands under your shoulders, lift up, close those knees, hands by your knees, and lift up and down those knees so that you can stretch the top side of your feet that are often so neglected. Push up and um, try to do a little bit to the back. Let me walk so you can see me. Hands are right by your feet. And you want to cradle up. And um, this is very good for your ankles too. And breathe. Hands down, tabletop pose, and down dog again. And now we roll out those toes into downward dog. And breathe, and pose, stretch, accommodate your body needs, bend the knees one at a time, drop down those hips. Do anything that is good for you. Gaze between your knees. Breathe. And then lift up the two, the two heels. And start shifting the weight over your hands. And shoulders actually pass your hands so this is like a porch swing where you get into a higher plank and down dog breathe contract the abs hold it you're on your tippy toes and then down dog Slightly shift a little bit your hands and higher plank, lower down your hips, but keep them hovering 
and swinging back and forth. Look up. Position your hands and feet and hold it. Sit together, kick up your right leg, gaze to the left foot, pulse the right one, hold it, foot active, and breathe. One more. And now. Now we do the left. Kick up the left. Pulse it. Gaze to your right toes. Hold it. Foot active. And we go for three. One more. And slowly, 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 lower it down, down dog, higher plank, and up dog for three breaths. Contract the abs, the glutes. Shoulders away from your ears. And lift up, don't tuck in your toes, keep them rolled back, push away that mat so you can stretch those feet and then you roll them open one at a time, down dog, walk your feet to your hands. Keep your feet at hip distance, bend the knees, hold opposite elbow with opposite hand. Release your head and neck. Close your eyes. Swing side to side. Rest your tongue on your palate. Not yes and no. And feel the back. Getting longer. Release your hands to the mat right in front of your feet. Straighten up those knees and bend them again. Bend the elbows too, and now you straighten up everything and come up into monkey pose and down. Get your feet closer. One deep breath. And again, monkey pose. And release it. Feet together. Hold the back of your ankles and try to get your head to your knees. Naturally, you can keep your feet open too. And then slowly, slowly, slowly come up. Your head is the last one coming up. Roll back your shoulders, tilt forward your tailbone, mountain pose, toes up. Toes up, eyes close. Eyes close, toes down. Regular postures, open up your eyes. 
arms up, hands together, take a little neck bend, move over one side, and then to the other side, arms come down, palms are facing forward, your legs are lifting up on those toes, chair legs, interlace your hands, palms up, and pose. Find a focal point. Hands back to your tailbone. Come back up into standing pose. Shift the weight over to the right foot. Lift up the left leg and step back. High lunge. Open up your heart, look up, and your hands are still interlaced. They open up too. One more. Release your hands, cactus arms, take a little back hand. Keep breathing. Pray your hands to your heart. Step to the front of the mat. Fit together. One deep breath. Hands and arms to your sides. Chair pose for four. One. Two, three, and four. Pray your hands to your heart. Shift the weight over to the left foot. Lift up the right one. Step back. High lunge. Arms up. Interlace your thumbs. And pulse back, look up, take a slightly little back bend, and breathe. Hands and arms are parallel, go deeper. Pray your hands to your heart, step forward, chair pose for two, lift up those toes, and then pray your hands to your heart, twist to the left, pray your hands, open hands, or you can rest your hands to the mat. Mm, and breathe. Pray your hands back and neutral. Chair pose for two. Pray your hands to your heart. Let's twist to the right. And again, find the right pose for your hands and arms. And let's breathe. Pray your hands and neutral chair pose for one. So
between your hands and arms down, and on your toes for two. One. And two. High mountain, roll back your shoulder blades. Your tailbone is facing forward and the abs are contracted. Slowly, slowly down. Arms open to the side. Up, little back bend. Pray your hands to your heart. And we fold forward, hands to the mat. Bend the knees if you need to. Step back, down dog. Three breaths. One, two, and three. Slowly, slowly, higher plank. Roll over those toes and then up dog. Contract everything and breathe. And hips up, down dog, feet together, kick up that right leg, bend the knee, and pulse it over to the side. Extend it, three leg dog, and down. Left leg up. Bend the knee and pulse it over to the right. Always breathe. Extend that left leg up and slowly, slowly come down. And again, down dog. One deep breath and transition over to the up dog. Up dog. Your toes are still folded backwards. Breathe and roll them in your usually in your usual position. And breathe. Get your back longer. Fit together. Kick up that right leg. Place it between your hands. Step back further away with your left foot. Extend the right arm up. Gaze to your thumb. Active hand. And breathe. One more. The right arm comes down inside that right foot. Left foot rolls down. Check the alignment with the heels. Your hands go back to your uh, tailbone. Interlace your hands. Open up those palms and fold forward lifting up your arms return your hands to your tailbone release your hands right foot goes back down dog one breath And slowly, slowly transition into that hot dog.
and push up, down dog, your feet are still stretching, naturally if this is not comfortable for you, you take your usual position with your feet, and you breathe, fit together, kick up the left leg, and then you bring it down between your hands, step back with the right foot, extend the left hand high up, gaze to your thumb, and breathe. Always breathe. Left arm comes down to the mat, right foot comes down to the heels are aligned in a 90 degree ankle and you interlace your hands on your tailbone, lower down your head, open those palms and lift up and breathe. release those hands, bring them outside that foot, step back, down dog, one breath, try to keep your head to the mat, bend those elbows, high plank, lower down the hips, keep them hovering, your feet your toes are still tuck and you want to rock back and forth. Release your knees to the mat, release your feet and up dog. One more. Now tilt over to your left, get on the side of your left foot, on the inside of your right one, lift up that left, the right hand and arm, and breathe. Right arm is coming down, right foot is coming down, and we change. So it's going to be right foot on the external side and then the, the sole of the right, left foot, left arm is stretched up. Left arm is coming down, high plank, up dog. Tuck in your toes, down dog, and slowly walk your feet to your hands. Ah, breathe in, choose the best position for your feet, your lower back, and your legs. I'm going to keep my feet at hip width apart. Let's grab our ankles and push the head between the knees. And then our hands are sliding our, under our feet, bend knees and elbows and stretch. Bend, one breath, and stretch. Stretch, 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 and release. Fit together. Monkey pose. Release it. And slowly, slowly, slowly come up. One 
deep breath. Eagle pose, choose your side. I'm gonna go for the right leg on top, right arm under, and squat down. Slowly, slowly, we come up and release only our leg. And then we are folding or tilting forward. Stretching our leg out. And flexing that foot. And up, release everything. One knee press. Mm, let's take two. Now we do the opposite. Left leg on top. And left arm under. Slowly, slowly we come up, release that leg, and we want to fold forward, extend the left leg. It's easy to fall off, but we gotta fall back into place. You gotta find your focal point. Left foot is active. And up, release your arms, one breath, and another one, lift up the right foot, hold it, find that focal point again, and then we want to stretch that left leg. Keep your, it's, it's the right, keep the left knee slightly bent. Change the position of your hand. You can go for yogi toe. And move the right leg to the side. Take a mudra with your left hand. Press. If the left ankle is pulling, just take some circles and breathe. Mm. And back. One deep press. Shift the weight over to your right leg. Lift up the left. 
wrap your foot, stretch it forward, bend the right knee. Bend the left knee, tree pose. Bend the right knee, find the mudra. Look up, one deep breath, and fold forward, bend the knees, step back, down dog. Mm. Slide your hands in your head, come into bed, then the elbows come into a lower plank, and then we're going to go into seal pose if you want you can also take up dog seal pose is just a wider dog you can also bend the elbows and come into sphinx palms are down on your mat mm. look forward and smile And then, right hand is coming underneath the left arm. Left arm is opening to the side. And you enjoy this nice pull of your upper back. Like a very tight hug. See if you can rest your chin and your forehead down. Experiment. Do you want to move your head for your hands forward? Mm, relax. And then you want to push up and change position. So you want to slide your left arm underneath the right one. And you also want to close the, uh, the hug, bringing your hands closer to your waist or your shoulders. Release your hands, your chest is still up. Interlace your hands on your tailbone, open those hands and lift up. You can also lift up the slats. Just breathe. One more. And release everything down, release your hands, rest on one side of your head. Mm. 
Extend your left arm to a T pose. Right hand is under your right shoulder. Legs together. Roll over the left. Use your um, legs and feet for extra leverage. And enjoy the stretch. Slowly, slowly release your feet and legs, roll back down, right arms extend to a T, left hand is under the left shoulder, bend your knees and enjoy the stretch, enjoy the gravity pull. Release your legs and feet, roll back down. Right hand is under your right shoulder. Up dog. Tucking your toes, high plank, down dog. Mm. Your feet come closer to your hands, get them on the outer edge of your mat, yogi squat or garland pose. Mm. Remember you can actually always sit on a block or on a book. Hands down, knees down, we come up, try your hands, back bend, camel pose. Take a version that is good for you. Just breathe. And slowly, slowly come up, sit down, and breathe for three. Hands down, hip heels up, cross the ankles, come to a sitting pose, legs are stretched right in front of you, and you want to grab your feet or your ankles, flat back, flex, flex knees, flex feet, and slowly, slowly come to arch the back. Get to touch your knees, interlace your fingers if this is good, and melt forward those knees and relax. Breathe. Slowly, slowly release your hands, rest them on the side of your feet. Go and massage between your little toes, lift up your head. Massage the balls of your feet, the soles, the heels, press them. 
the arches, two hands over one foot. And then the other one. And slowly, slowly, your back comes back up. Hands behind your hips, bend the knees, feet flat on the mat, hips up, head back, reverse tabletop. And release it down. Bend the knees. Left thighs on the mat. The right thigh is right on top. And you want to bend the elbows and grab your hands behind your upper back. Mm. Now your knees stay where they are, change your arms, feel the difference. Release your hands, change the legs. Your heels are right by your hips. Grab your hands on your upper back. And breathe. Yeah, again, we change side. Release your hands and come into sitting position that we took right at the beginning or a half lotus or lotus legs and we're slowing down our breaths pray your hands to your heart or you can relax your hands on your knees spine is straight eyes are closed Slow down your breath. Feel your body light and floating. Your mind is quiet. Your breath is almost silent. You're on a cloud. A little bit like Dragon Ball. Floating and looking down, you're admiring the landscape, the meadows, the sheep, the 
You can see the houses. Red roof, because we are in Europe. And the sea with white, white sails. The seagulls. A nice breeze is calming our hair. You close your eyes and you're getting back to your body. And you're scanning it. All the parts we've been working today. Go to your mind. Enjoy the quiet. Concentrate on the tips of your fingers and reactivate your body. Awaken it. to your spine, your shoulders, your neck, Your breath is becoming more regular. But your mind is still pretty much free. Your sitting bones are grounded. but you're still light and free. Pray your hands to your heart. Visualize your week. Visualize the happy faces of the people that you're going to be meeting. People you love. Visualize something delicious you're going to be eating. Enjoy the perfume. Enjoy the flavors. And we thank for today's practice. Remember, you can rest like this for as long as you want. Or we can go back to our lives. See you next time. Ciao, amici.